This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. Let's see here. Collect all the nectar or make all the honey. You can only collect nectar from flowers and make honey from honeycomb. Check any space to see if there's a flower or honeycomb. There will only ever be one flower or one honeycomb behind each cloud. All right, so this is what we have been doing. I'm going to move forward, and what do I want to do? Well, if it's a flower, I'm going to get honeycomb. Otherwise, I mean, if it's a flower, I'll get nectar. Otherwise, make honey. Now, if statements are super confusing, so I don't need this here, but I'm going to put it. What's going to happen? Well, let's say I move forward. There we are. That runs. And now my if runs. So I'm asking the computer right now, if flower. Well, I'm on honeycomb. So the computer says, nope, or false. There's no flower. Okay, there's no flower. And what happens? I make honey then. So if there's a flower, I'll get nectar. And then I move forward. I skip make honey. If there's not a flower, as you just saw, I'll make honey, and then what? I move forward. You only do one of these. If there's a flower, you'll get nectar, then you move forward down here, because it just keeps running. If there's not a flower, you make honey. You would not get nectar, that does not run. If there's not a flower, I make honey, and it keeps going. So, perfect, but I need to do this how many times? Well, if, now what, get nectar, but we should never repeat code like this. It's going to be identical. So instead, how many blocks are there? Looks like seven, uh, maybe? Let's give that a shot. Awesome. Onward.